like damn who give me some food for thought changing the pasta you had in your heart hey What's going on? What's going Good on? It's morning. your boy Tyrell Clemens. I'm coming to you with my beautiful wife, Miss Wendy. And it's time for to give you a breakfast for your soul, your food for thought. So, Wendy, on this Friday, what do you have for me? Got anything deep or some deep? Well, let's go deep. Deep. I'm going to go deep. All right, what you got? Our dreams have no limitations except those we place on them. Mm, say it one more time. Our dreams have what? Our dreams have no limitations except those we place on them. Here's one thing that a lot of people do. Now, mm -hmm. I'm going to say it. In a, we psych ourselves out. I, I, know, I know you're like, what the way are you talking about psych yourself out? Sometimes you can't accomplish the things that you try because you are psyching yourself out. You have so much doubt. You have so much fear. You limit your greatness. Like there's things that you really could do, but you are in a position where you get scared. Oh man, that's, 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 too, that's too much. Like you get ready to go buy a house. Mm, I don't know, man, I can't do that. That's, that's too big. Yes, I can't do that. Uh, oh, I can't, I can't, that. Oh, I don't know about that. That's too hard. Ah, no, I don't know. You don't, don't know about that. You want me to do what? Ah, oh, oh, oh. I think this piggybacks off of what we were kind of what we were talking about yesterday about uh -huh. setting the mini goals because so many people get so stuck on the big picture and they see all this. I got to do all this to get there versus thinking of, okay, I can do this and I can do this. I can do this, and when you sit, look at it like that, you get psyched out. I mean, if you think the how, if you look how big that that task is, you mean I, to, I'm gonna be a what a surgeon? Ain't nowhere in the world would be a surgeon. I do 18 I, years see, but the thing is, instead of breaking that thing now, say, look, all I got to do is graduate high school. All right, then after I graduate high school, I just got to graduate college. After I graduate college, I go to med school. After I go to med school, you you got to break it down, break your goals down. So many people are limiting their, their greatness because they're afraid. They're, they're they're looking at the task and they think it's too big for them. But let me tell you something right now: nothing is too big for our God. Nothing is too big if you have the drive, the passion, and the desire. There's nothing that you can't do. Stop limiting yourself. Stop saying, I can't, because you are putting yourself in a box. There's so many things that you, I'm talking to somebody this morning, there's so many things that you can do, but you're not doing it because you think you can't do it. Mm -hmm. Not because you can't do it, because you think you can't do it. Here, here's the deal. I can tell you, I, I, can I tell, I, do I got time to tell the story? Okay, Lily. Oh, Lord, I don't know if I got time to tell the story. I, I, I'm going to try to get it real quick. The, the, everybody heard of this famous, there's a famous uh, magician. He had the power to escape out of a lot of things. I mean, he could pick a lock like oh, nothing. I mean, he was a man. It didn't matter what you do, he could pick that lock. I mean, you could, it, 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 people come far and wide and try to hide him and put him in a jail. And that brother can break out of any jail in the world. There's this old jail, uh, this challenge. They said, look, we got a jail that's going to trap that, that magician. He can't get out of this one. <laughs> and so they put the magician in the jail. They put him in there and he's just trying his best and, and, and trying his best to get out of it, trying his best to get out of it. And he's doing all these, and then he ran out of time. He couldn't do it. But guess what? The door was unlocked. He didn't even try certain things because we put limits on ourselves that aren't even there. He, all he had to do was push the door open. It wasn't even locked. He put a limit on himself that wasn't even there. Some people are saying they can't do things because they ain't even trying yet. Try first. I think that with the story you just said, sometimes we miss the simplest things. Oh, yeah. Because, like, sometimes you have those goals and you're just thinking about the big picture, but you miss some of those simple steps when you're not paying attention to the smaller part. The smaller part. I mean, and, and that's so right, man. So it kills me when people just think they can't do it. I can't do it. I can't, but you haven't tried. Stop limiting yourself. If there's something that you want to accomplish, try it. That door was only locked because he didn't try to open it. There's so many doors that you think that are locked up for you. There's so many doors you think you can't walk through. There's so many doors that you think you can't. They're not gonna hire me because but you, ain't even you, apply. you didn't even apply for the job. The door wasn't locked for you. The door was open, but you didn't even try. You need to be willing to try. There's another quote that um, Michael Jordan once said, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. Well, you know what you know about Michael. You shoot some shots this year, y'all. 2020, I want y'all to shoot some shots. You are going to be successful, but you can't be successful if you limit yourself and if you're afraid to take them shots. All right? Have fun this weekend. We love y'all, man. This is your Brooks Me Soul, your food for thought.